Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Yorktown police want to talk to three men in connection with the weekend shooting death of a high school senior. 18-year-old Chris Massengill of Yorktown was shot Saturday. He died yesterday. Police say Massengill was shot as he stood outside at home, not far from the McDonald's he worked at. Yorktown High School officials didn't want to talk, but say counseling will be available for students. Yorktown police won't release details of the shooting, but will only confirm the search for the three suspects. Fire Prevention Week got off to an ironic start in Gaston when firefighters had to fight a fire at their own house. Newslink Indiana's Stephanie Champlain has more. I thought maybe it was a joke to start with, that you just don't have your fire station. That's fire. But it was no joke. A call at 445 Monday morning, smoke in a downtown building. As I came around the corner and seen the smoke coming from my fire station, it's like having your own house on fire. A 1967 Chevy tanker on fire inside the station. Also inside, the rest of the fire equipment from hoses to fire suits to an ambulance and fire truck. Some men got into their gear, some men were having to fight fire without gear. It was a very dangerous situation. It took firefighters five minutes to get everything out. Standing here in a firehouse is one of the last places you would think would catch fire. Dub said most of the equipment has to be inspected and then that'll determine whether or not it'll be replaced or repaired. Total damage costs to the fire station still undetermined. The old tanker, a total loss. A lot of the older members that uh, used to be on our department, I can see their faces in that truck. In Gaston, Stephanie Champlain, Newslink, Indiana. Investigators believe an electrical malfunction on the old truck may have sparked the fire. Now here's Ina Segal with a look at our forecast. Ina. We did have a beautiful day out there today, but temperatures were a little cooler than average for tonight. Be expecting a low of 30 degrees, winds out of the north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we head into the early morning hours into the morning tomorrow, there is a freeze warning in effect, and temperatures are going to be dropping into below freezing temperatures. As we head into our day tomorrow, be expecting frosty conditions in the morning, but gradual clearing as we head into our day with a high of 59 degrees. Our five day forecast calls for plenty of sunshine on Tuesday with a high of 59 degrees. As we head into Wednesday, a warm up will begin, but clouds roll back into our forecast. Thanks, Anna. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 tomorrow morning for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.